name, uh, where are you from, what organization you're representing? Okay, uh, my name is Atid Kimmelman. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I don't represent an organization here, I am just uh, came down for personal reasons. It was Yom Kippur yesterday and there was a service that I was at outside of the Lincoln Memorial. And what, why, why did you come down? What, what, what inspires you about the Pope's message? Um, sorry, it's distracting. Oh. You know, the Pope's message, I think, uh, I already had a connection to the issue of climate change. And part of that has sprung from my Jewish faith and the history of the Jewish people. Um, and I think what connects me partly is just that it, it is from a religious faith. that he connects the social, the environmental, and the economic issues of our time in religious language that we can all appreciate and it's addressed to all of humanity. Uh, and I think, you know, there is no leader in the Jewish community that can parallel a pope. And it's really, you know, a historic event for the pope to address Congress like this. And I think he is representing an interfaith community. You know, yesterday, the first thing he said to the bishops' conference was, bless our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community celebrating Yom Kippur. And, you know, 60 years ago, that's unthinkable. And for that to happen today is just, he, he's a man who lives what he preaches. And I, I really am inspired by that. Great, well, thank you very much. Thanks.